first day of school we got this it's okay i shouldn't be so hard on myself but i just want to get it figured out <laughs> cried a little bit but things got better they did First day of school, hence my shirt. I wear this literally every first day of school, with the exception of my first year. If you are wondering where it's from, I got it as a gift three years ago from my friend Vanessa for around my second grade life. But yeah, love it. First day of school. Taught my first lesson. We're doing about three live Zoom lessons a day. The first one is morning meeting, then we have our ELA block, which I did, but dude, let's just say I'm super overwhelmed right now. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you don't know. But I switched schools in the middle, of, in the middle of a pandemic. I am still teaching first grade. However, I am back in the public school system. I used to teach at a charter school, which is still a public school, but you know what I mean. I'm part of a public school district. Yeah. So right now I'm just answering lots. Of messages so I guess I can walk you through what I did or I attempted to do so I'm, I'm using class tag this year because that's what first grade uses it's a little bit of learning curve but I'm still using my iPad to share my screen so let's see so we did morning meeting and for that I just had a welcome slide morning song so that's the, um, the rise and shine song by dr. Jean um, then we had our morning message, which was a little chaotic because since I was in a breakout room, I could not put people on mute myself. Um, so typically I would read and then they would read after me, but that was not working. <laughs> and then we had a question of the day, which is how do you feel about starting first grade online? And typically I would call on students to answer the question, but I couldn't change the names myself on Zoom, so a lot of kids had either numbers or their parents names so it was kind of challenging to see who was who and i have 27 students so yeah um we skipped this because this took so long typically i would open up the floor for three students to share anything they want like good news or whatever and then we did this group activity that which took a little too long as well so next time i'll just cut it in half so just how many circles you see and how do you know that was morning meeting, and then for ELA, we're using Benchmark Advance for our curriculum. Um, so I have this whole week, I think for the first 20 days of school, technically you're supposed to do foundations and routines. Um, so day one was today, we had our alphabet song, which I've used for the past four years, just as a little warm up. And then I explained this, so if you see the emoji, that means things to yourself. If you see this, I want you to write on your whiteboard or a paper. If you don't have any of those, then write on the write in the air. Raise your hand if you can if you know the answer or if you want to share. Think of what makes you a good listener. Again, didn't go very well because I didn't know the people my students' names, unfortunately, but I tried. I really tried. And again, you can see the emojis there that tells the Q students to know that if they have an answer they can share. Phonological awareness, I just did what the book said, shared reading. I cut this a little short because, again, I couldn't really get students to participate because I didn't know everybody's name, and I don't know how to fix that. We did. We skipped the picture walk, same reason. And then we read the story, forgot to talk about the story. We did a little bit of like, what do you hear at the beginning when I say bored? Messages just keep flooding in. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to troubleshoot things. So we got this, it's okay. I also ordered a desk on Amazon. I should track where it is. It was supposed to get here on Monday. Nope, it was supposed to get here on Friday, but it didn't, but now it's getting here today. Alex uses our home office and both our guest rooms are currently being used. So I think I'm gonna 
put the desk here in the loft but the problem with that is is that people if our guests are you know in the kitchen or whatever i can't hear everything and that kind of sucks so and I, and I really don't want to put the desk in our bedroom because I need some separation. I really need some separation. I can't be, I can't sleep and work in my bedroom. It just messes with my head. Okay, a little change of scenery. Alex is working from his office this whole week, but he was working, but he was working from home. But he was working from home for a little bit because he had a doctor's appointment. I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I assigned actually. So I'm using Boom Learning. So these are my assignments. And for the morning part of independent practice, I just wanted this one and this one to be done. This is letter M. I did not create this one, Simply Kinder did, but I did kind of create this one. So let's look at that one. Type your name in the box. So I bought the slides from TPT, which I can link below. And then I saved them as a JPEG and then I uploaded them to Boom Learning. So all they do is type your name, hit submit. All about me. Type your age in the yellow box and drag a picture that looks most like you to the orange box. I kind of switch, I kind of tweak this one a little bit to, to, you know, match. So let's say I'm six and this one looks like me. That's what they would do. Type four words to describe yourself. One in each box. Friendly and loving. Use the pictures to create your family inside the green box. Then type in how many people are in your family. So for this, I could be like, it's me, my husband, and our two dogs. So that would be four, and they just submit it. Type in what your favorite food is. If you can find your favorite food in the pictures, drag the picture to the box in the blue. So that's it for that one, more of a get to know you activity. And then this one is from Simply Kinder. Again, I did not grade this one, um, but since we learned about the letter, since we reviewed the letter M, I figured this was an appropriate assignment and this one also has like uh voice directions these words start with the star sound click each sound icon to hear them and then click the thumbs up to continue so if they forgot what the letter m sounds like they could go here this is the letter m it makes the sound mm. so last year i was using seesaw learning for pretty much all my assignments, but I'm pretty sure we're not allowed to use it. And I think it's because it's kind of really pricey. It's about $120 per teacher. So I do miss Seesaw. Seesaw was very fun to use, but Boom Learning is pretty good too. Oh, and I also found this calendar time thing that we'll use for math just to keep track of things. I found it on the Facebook page that one of my, that my mentor teacher from student teaching invited me to. It wasn't super draggable, like everything would drag. So I deleted those things and I put some things as a background. So now we can just be like, like August 10. And you just kind of, you know, and you just go through it all like this. That's what it is. Finished with that Zoom meeting. That one went a lot smoother, but I realized that I really do need like an easel or like a whiteboard. I don't know something because even though showing it on the iPad is great, I still need to be able to manipulate things a little faster. I'm looking one up on Amazon right now and I'm just gonna see what I find. All of them can, can be delivered until Wednesday. I know I have one at school, but I don't, oh, this, no, that's not it. But I don't know if it will fit in my car. That's the issue. And they want it to be magnetic. So this kind of came just in time. I got a package from Acon or Ticonderoga. I think they're becoming the same business, but just PR package. Um, 
This is really cool. Self-stick dry erase sheets. And then, oh, and then a self-stick dry erase roll. Good morning. It is Tuesday and it's day two of virtual learning. I finally have my space set up. I have a desk. I was able to put my desktop computer out, which had been in a box since like June. And that is because Alex got a work computer, so that went on the desk. But now I have a desk too, so. Real quick, here is my setup again. I have to organize it. I got this desk from Amazon. Um, I think it was sold out after I bought it, but if I find it, I'll link it down below. It did take quite a bit of time to get here. Um, I have a little diffuser there that I think I'm going to set up with a little bit of lavender. <laughs> I'm not a big diffuser person, but I'll give it a try. I also have markers in the back, as you can see, but I'm going to organize them better and then have and then put dry erase markers on one side. This is my pile of stuff. Hot trade of plugs. I eat these when I'm stressed. I'm going to put them right here for now. Pens, which I think I'll also put there. That's probably a good idea. My planner, my iPad, and my curriculum book. So I'm gonna go get my laptop. I don't even know what I was saying. I feel like I just keep getting sidetracked with like emails and Zoom calls and messages and everything i need to check my to do list to make sure i have everything all right i am not doing like the elaborate lesson plan template that i used to do which i'll insert a picture right here just because i find it a little redundant to do it all my lessons are on like a powerpoint so obviously i go in and type everything and i know what's and I know what I'm going to teach. And I feel like for me doing that and then going in and typing in a separate lesson plan just to make it look cute on my planner is just a little not productive. So editing from the night here from like three weeks later and um, yeah, that one didn't happen. So I found that, but I have to turn in lesson plans and I went back to those elaborate lesson plans. So yeah. I'm still doing those. <laughs> All I've been doing now is writing my to-do list for the day. Right under each day and just, have, and just crossing out the ones I've already done. So I need them. Um, I need to get a pen. So unfortunately, I did not get to the, I was not able to fix a voiceover on Boom Learning. I did add our Zoom rules onto our morning meeting. I forgot to play our alphabet song, which I should have. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to make sure my math lesson's ready. I, I swear I have the worst handwriting. I need to send my previous districts an employment verification form. Okay, so now I'm adding some voiceovers to our boom cards. If you are not familiar with boom cards, they are amazing. I do plan on making a video all about how I use them in my classroom, but I'll just give you a little sneak peek right now. For math, we use Eureka Math or Engage New York. Um, so typically students would do a sprint, a problem set, and an exit ticket. Well, that's not really possible with distance learning, like as far as having worksheets, unless you give them ahead of time. But then even then, like you wouldn't be able to see their work or what they answered. So this is an example of an exit ticket. So I made the template itself from PowerPoint. And then I added some features using Boom. So if I go to preview, this is what students see. Use the purple dots to cover some of the black dots to show the two parts you see. Then make a number bond to match. So what they could do here is maybe cover five, right? So that five was a part. And then there's one and it makes six. Oops. And then they press submit, and then I get to grade it later. So for the most part, for this, this one will get an automatic response to see if it was right or wrong, and this, this too. But for the parts, I check it later, but it's instant feedback. You can have a voice recording for the instructions, which is super helpful, especially for the little ones. Okay, so I just taught a math lesson, and I need to figure out a better way to do it. Last year, it wasn't too bad because we had already covered pretty much everything with the exception of like time and time and money 
and stuff like that. So we had already covered like really foundational skills like number bonds and just like foundational stuff, right? So it wasn't too hard to teach math online, but now starting from the beginning, it's hard. It's really hard. Um, I have this like 10 frame, they're magnetic and I have this little easel, but and I also have a number bond, but the number bond's a little too big. So I think I'm going to make like a template that I can just stick on it and then not have to draw it and erase it every single time. I also ordered like a gooseneck tripod, I think it's called. It's like a really long stick and you can like bend it and you kind of just clip it to the desk. So what I'm hoping is that I'll use my phone as kind of like a document camera. And then I also ordered like a mini ring light that is the same way. Today I was trying to like literally do work like this and try to stay in frame and like talk to the kids. So hopefully just by sitting it down on my desk and just moving things around, it'll be easier and I think it will be easier. Um, I think I'm gonna order another one of these. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but I bought this on Amazon like four years ago. And maybe have one designated for math, one designated for ELA, like magnetic, and I'll probably order magnet, and I'll probably order magnetic like, why can't I say it? I'll probably order magnetic letters as well because I think that'll be very helpful. But it's only the second day. I shouldn't be so hard on myself, but I just want to get it figured out. <laughs> and I will. I will. It's just a matter of trial and error and buying a lot of things. I really thought because we're teaching from home, I wouldn't spend so much money on my classroom, but here we are. So I showed you the boom cards earlier. For the ones that were assigned today, they were pretty open-ended. So the open-ended questions you have to grade manually. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. 116 assignments need human scoring. And that doesn't really mean 120 assignments. It just means 120, 116 cards. And I do share this account with my team teachers. So half of them are probably hers. But it organizes it. I can find this card. It organizes it by assignment. And then you just click the plus sign and then it'll just drop down all the ones that need scoring. Um, when you're scoring, you can also hide the student names. So that way you're not biased on grading, especially open in the questions. But I love reading these because it's the about me, the all about me activity that I posted. And I like snow too. I have two dogs too. I love reading these. I am smart. I can draw. I want to be in the classroom. Okay, same. I'm a hard worker. <laughs> My little brother is loud, sorry. Oh, interesting. Awesome, let's see this one. <laughs> this this one says, this year I'm most excited about and students were supposed to fill in the blanks and it's like for coronavirus to end. Me too, buddy. Okay, so I got an Amazon package from the things that I ordered yesterday. One of them was this one. It looks like this. This one was $10. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and then show you then I also got the mini ring light. Okay, so I set it up. It looks like this. Not incredibly stable, but I mean, it was $10. Um, so my hope is that I can do things like this. Kids can see it in real time, and I don't have to like waste time holding it up and balancing everything on the board. So, not bad for $10. I will link it down below. It was from Amazon. So now I need to start setting up the ring light. All right, so here's a mini ring light. It asks for a table, and then you can make it brighter. I think this one was $13, and you can also move it and readjust it, and thus you can see it's brighter. And this is what the ring light looks like pointed at me, and this is without it. So it does kind of make a difference. And then it has another button, I don't know what it does. Oh, so this is a cool tone light, which I'm not a fan of. This is a very warm tone one that I don't like either, but this is more of like a neutral one. What day is it? How do you feel about that? So give me a thumbs up if you're excited, so-so, or you don't know. How do you 
you feel about having all those special classes today? Some people are really excited, some are a little nervous, it's okay. So it's gonna be fun, okay? You ate, so that's one already. Yesterday we only got five, I think, or four. Okay, it's been a rough day. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell by my appearance, but my contacts kept getting dirty, so now I'm wearing my glasses. Had a rough morning, cried a little bit, but things got better. They did. I have a wonderful team teacher, and she baked me a cake, and she dropped it off, and that was really nice, and I'm so excited to eat it, because it's my favorite. It's, um, I love Tres Leches cakes, and it's that, and it's huge, and I just know that and that just made my entire day better. So, today is a little bit of a different day because my students have, I don't know if I've already said this or not, um, they have specials pretty much all day. Um, I only logged in in the morning for about an hour and then ever since they've been in, and ever since they've been with specialists or lunch and stuff like that and I will log back in with them in 10 minutes just to wrap it all up and um, yeah. <laughs> So I've just been working on boom cards and answering emails and stuff like that and I have a huge headache. I'm sure it's a combination of two things. One, I hadn't eaten all day. I ate breakfast a little bit and ate some carrots but then it's already two and I hadn't eaten so that's, that's what this is. I ate some spaghetti. My, my headache started to go away. The other reason is because I was very, very very stressed out this morning and that just made my head like want to explode but I'm, I'm good now <sighs> so after my work day is over i'm gonna answer other emails from for social media and make sure i have a post going up today good morning we've made it to friday Yeah, we've made it to Friday and I think I'm pretty much ready for the day, which feels good. All I gotta do is eat breakfast and I think I'm gonna look for some blinds for here if I can find some on Amazon. Alright, so now I'm making sure I have the videos that I need. So I need rice and shine for a morning meeting. I need my... I need my phonics powerpoint and then I need my morning meeting powerpoint so morning meetings first i think we're good independent practice time so my kids are working on boom cards for now till I get access to everything else um, and right now I'm editing some boom cards I decided to add voiceovers to every single boom card just in case it's not clear what the instructions are especially if kids are working by themselves um, so I started doing that earlier this week and then today I decided that at the beginning of most boom cards like the math ones um, I'm gonna add like a little how-to video like this so this is the first boom card they see and then the video automatically plays for this boom boom card you're gonna be making the number six it is gonna be up and basically ju I just go through how to make the boom card and once they watch it they press next and that's when they do their work so that one's done and then I think I'm gonna need a video for this one so let's do that. I just, I, I screen record my screen with an app that I bought for my computer called Screen Record slash Screen Recorder. All right, so for this boom card, you're gonna use the Apple picture to help you write a way to make six. So let's look at the Apple picture. As you can see, there are different sized apples. After I record it, I put it on iMovie because then I can make the file a little smaller and it's faster to upload on YouTube. I upload it on YouTube as an unlisted video so only people with a link can watch it, which means only people with the boom card can watch it. 
Did it not save my sound? Finish the number bond. Write the missing part. this set of boom cards and I bet you anything it's gonna take my students about like five minutes to finish the entire thing <laughs> an hour to make but I have managed to complete that's what virtual learning is so here it is so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna watch this it should play automatically <laughs> I don't know why it's not doing it right now Okay, so for this part, you are going to do what the instructions tell you. For this one, for example, it tells me to cover six, and then I ask how many more does six need to make these. So first, I'm going to use the purple dots to cover six smiley faces. One, two, three, four, five, six. So as you can see, there's already six there, which is what we covered with the purple. Right here on this box, I'm going to write how many smiley faces are not covered, and that is one, two. Then I have my. See so yeah, how you get it? Um, the press next. Cover six. How many more does six need to make eight? And then they would just go do this one. This one was the example one. So I should get it right. Okay, that didn't really go that well. <laughs> I kind of ran through it before, made sure like the camera was on, and it was showing me it was on on my end, but some students couldn't see it. So, <sighs> it was showing me that it was on my end, but some students were telling me they couldn't see it. So, then trying to problem, sh then trying to troubleshoot it was just not fun. So, hopefully, I can get the kinks out. I've been told I have a document camera in my room, so maybe having that will be easier. I don't know. There's so many like, there's, this is just like very trial and error and it's kind of frustrating. So obviously I was very frustrated in that last clip and I didn't end the vlog so this is me needing to sneeze. So this is me ending the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have been vlogging regularly so you will be seeing more vlogs from me coming up in the future so if you enjoyed this vlog give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next video bye